Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another tutorial, but this time it's not an eyeshadow tutorial and I wonder if you can spot what's missing at the moment. And of course it is a brow. So on this side I have applied my brow as I usually would. On this side I've left it clear so that I can share that with you today. I've got three products that I'm going to be creating my brow with. Um, but more importantly, I want to share with you the Revolution Pro Eyebrow Cushion. This is what's inspired me to share with you my brow routine. Now the Revolution uh, Pro Eyebrow Cushion, I get mine in dark brown. I was really intrigued by this product. I believe they're five pounds. They have a mirror, so I don't want to blind you. Let me just swap it. And what you do is you actually, it's very tricky because it's got a lid and there, there you go. So you have the mirror and then you have this that you open. So I'll just open that up. Now I've got to be careful because the sponge does feel a little bit loose inside there. But this is what it looks like. So you've got a sponge in there with the product on it. What I would also suggest is that you ensure that this part is snapped shut um, to ensure that it doesn't dry out. I've had my brow pomade from the Revolution brand now for over a year because every time I you know get a little bit of the product out or use it in particular um, I then make sure that the lid is on and that has really kept my product not necessarily as it is a little bit more um, I would say dried than it was initially um, but it's still usable so I'm really pleased with that so yeah this is five pounds I was intrigued to use it and I can't wait to share that with you I've got another product the duo brow definer pencil again this is from revolution again this is about five four five six pounds something like that these are all inexpensive products you have a spoolie on one side and the product on the other. This has a triangular shape, so it's a little bit more pointy on one end than it is on the other. So you can um, use the pointy end, I don't know, to create those brow hairs if you want, and then turn it over to completely fill it in. I do find though that this is a little bit tricky because once you've used it a few times, it gets a little bit more rounded and that uh, position, precision, um, of brow hairs you can't you know they're a little bit thicker so it doesn't look as natural as it could but I still love that product for filling in the brow as well and then the last product is a again another Revolution Pro uh, product and it's the microblading effect this is the box that it comes in um, I'm keeping the box at the moment because the name isn't on the actual pencil um, and this one looks like that so if you look at both of them together you can see the thickness of this one compared to this one and this is an, a holy grail for me I absolutely love it I've been looking for a very thin affordable drugstore brow pencil um, to mimic the brow hairs and this works perfectly so again you've got a spoolie at one end and then the other end is very very thin and it really does work fantastically so that's what I use that product solely for just to create those or mimic brow hairs at the beginning there so I've also got a few brushes as well and I'll be going through those with you too. Although I'm not using my regular brow brush um, because the one I'm using at the moment, it's got a brow pomade on it. So I didn't want to use this with that, if you see what I mean. I wanted a clean brush. I don't know where this brush comes from. I think it again comes from something like Revolution, one of their kits or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah it worked really really well on the other brow so what I'm going to start off with and this is how I always achieve my brows um, and you can see that I've got it's very very thin so I've got nothing at the front and the tail is incredibly in fact the whole body of the brow is extremely thin and the tail is missing as well I'm just going to get a this brush actually because it works really well if you haven't got any brows, or if you're like me and you've got um, very sparse brows, they're missing, you have to, or you should, uh, plan your brow. 
Obviously, I know this near enough off by heart now, but I always measure the brow, especially at the end there, because I don't want my brow to come too low or too long. So to uh, plan your brow, you always use the side of your nose and your inner corner for this part and your brow should come no further than there where the edge of the brush is there then to get your arch again you look straight ahead and start at the edge of the nose again and that product or the line should go through the center of your eye so that's where you know the brow arch should be and then for the end of your brow again it's the edge of the nose and then the outside edge of your eye and that will then give you the mark where your brow should come up to so that's a little bit of a guide of where your brow should be obviously you can do whatever you like with your brow but that is a general guide to you know where you should go with your brow and especially like me if you've got no front part no end to it I've I can see where the arch is but you know it just helps me so I start off with the duo brow definer pencil and I try and start off the same side you know the same as that side so I'll just roughly go across and then hopefully I've got the right but if I haven't it's fine if you mess up don't worry if your line is wobbly do not worry at this stage and I've already gone over it just doesn't matter so I try and keep near that brow as I can but it doesn't matter at all if it's messy if it's wobbly anything and usually I wouldn't have any other makeup on uh, apart from my base and again I've made a line there it doesn't matter then what I'll do is again I'll try and start off and this line the bot bottom line is over so that's giving me my full brow then at the top line I start where my actual brow hairs start because I don't want too much of a heavy line so I'm just going to create my brow and then I join it up there like that so you can see I've gone over it's messy it's certainly not the finished article at the moment so that's what I use that one for for now now getting on to the brow cushion so I'm just going to open that up and then I get my brow brush and like I say this one is quite a thin one um, I prefer a little bit of a thicker brush this one would be perfect if you want to create brow hairs perhaps but I do prefer a little bit of a thicker brush I did actually use this for eyeliner underneath the eye uh, but I've got to use this today which is absolutely fine so I'm just getting a little bit of that pomade in fact I'm going to just draw a line so that you can see what color it is so that's dark brown it's quite cool it's not warm and that's what I want because my brows are nearly black or they are black I don't want anything too warm um, as on a as a brow so I've got the product on the brush and I'm now going to I don't want to fill anything here at the moment and I'm just going to put that product just brush it lightly through the brow and we've already got our lines there do not worry if you go over it doesn't matter at this stage now this product is I mean I usually and it's replacing the brow pomade um, the brow pomade is a little bit thicker than this it's much more opaque so I think if you haven't got any brows or you're just starting out to apply brows, um, sorry, I'm getting the wrong product. The brow, um, the brow cushion um, might be the product to try because it's not as heavy um, to apply or on application as the brow pomade. Um, also, if you've got, um, you know, just brows like you've got fuller brows than me and you just want a little bit of perhaps fullness again this product will work for you but obviously my brow I'm working with skin and a little bit of brow not too much 
Now with the excess product on that brush, what I'm going to do now is just take that excess product and I've turned the brush around. So it was like that going through. Now I'm doing this. So just patting on that extra product here. Like that. And what I also found was that this is quite a thin formulation because it's um, you know, a wet product on a sponge. It's a little bit more liquidy than a brow pomade is. So again, if you know if you want that kind of a product that's thinner than a brow pomade, then again this would work very well for you. Now what I'm going to do is clean up my brow. So I've got a brow. You know it's taking shape certainly not perfect the brush I'm going to use for this is a Wilco flat brush I believe these are only 95p the pattern can differ but if you're not in the UK any flat brush will work um, you may already have one in your makeup collection I'm using and it is the eye elements from the Revolution Pro range again in central I absolutely love this shade it's very much my skin tone um, I just love it and I'm just going to dip the brush in there I can use a little bit of foundation if I've got some left on the back of my hand after application after I've applied it to my face then I could use that but for now I'm using this and it works very well so I'm just going to clean up my brow and I'm just going underneath and just clean that brow up now what I want to do is measure to see if I've taken that too long so I'm just going to see, and I definitely have, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that brow off. And I always like my brow, the end, to be quite pointed. That's just how I like to apply it. So that's about right. So. I've now cleaned that up. I'm absolute. I think I'm. I'm happy with that. I am. So I'm just going to put the lid on that as well. Because again, on the eye elements, I always like to put the lid on once I've not used it or once I've stopped using it. I'm going back now to the Duo Brow Definer pencil. Now, of course, when you're doing this yourself, you're not going to. I'm talking and explaining, so it's going to take me a little bit longer. But it can take me five minutes, it can take me a little bit longer, depending on how happy I am with my brows. So I'm going back to the Duo Brow Definer Pencil, and any places that are patchy or, you know, that I need a little bit more product, I will just use this. Now bearing in mind that everything is in dark brown, so they're all the same colour, and they are across the board. So, for example, if you want three products from the Revolution range, that are you know different products they are the same shade that you've seen that today so um, I'm really pleased about that because it means I can use all three products that I'm sharing today um, knowing that they're all going to work for me now I'm just going to make sure I quite like a heavy brow it's just what I'm used to and what I prefer and I'm just getting my eye elements in central again on my brush and I'm just going to now tidy up the top of the brow like that now these brows are not meant to be twins they are meant to be either sisters or cousins so um, or sisters I would have thought so I try and get them to look very similar, but you know, they're not always exactly the same. Um, so that's, so far, that's looking good. Now I'm going back to my foundation brush. This is the foundation brush that I use today. You can see on this side that it's a little bit more 
um, blended here and it, it's lighter here and goes deeper it's that ombre effect which is what I want on this side so I suppose you could just not put the product there but this is how I always do it and this is how the effect that I like so I'm just going to pat the brush on just on the edge here and it will take a little bit of product off and it gives me an ombre effect like that and it also just takes the harshness from that line there so it's a lot softer um, now I'm going to move on to my third and last product my holy grail of holy grails I'll never be without this product and it is the Revolution Pro microblading effect pencil um, so I shared with you the spoolie at the beginning um, I don't ever use the spoolie hardly I mean my brows just you know if they're messy I will go through them at the beginning but they're usually in you know the place that I want them to be and what I'm going to do now is just mimic brow hairs using this product and all I do is just in very quick like flick motions I will just put a few lines in here obviously they don't need to be neat um, you can go over the line at the top and something like that. If you feel that again the brow is not opaque, sorry if the brow is too opaque here, um, just go in with the brush again and lightly go over the brow just to lighten it up a little bit and that is my finished brow. That is how I like the brow I think. So there's a patch here There we go. So that is my brows completed. Like I said, they're not exactly the same. Um, they aren't meant to be exact. Um, it is, I do find it sometimes difficult to, you know, get the measurement correct here because there's no guide here. There's no um, eyebrows here at all. So sometimes I can find that tricky, but I think after a while you will get used to putting on your brows um, yourself. It did take me a little while because initially when I started I used the Brow Wiz from Benefit which was a brow pomade and for some reason um, and I hadn't perfected it the brows just looked so big so fake and I mean I know they don't look completely natural now but they are I'm happy with them and they give me the confidence to go out which is at the end of the day what we're all trying to achieve we're we're trying to achieve something that gives us the confidence to you know face the outside world and to, you know to make us happy and these brows certainly do that for me um, if I haven't covered anything in this video that you want to ask me a question, obviously mention it down below and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions relating to brows. I know it's a tricky subject because, you know, like I said, when I first started and I used the Brow Wiz from Benefit, I just wasn't happy with how my brows looked when I was using that product. But when I started using the product from Makeup Revolution, they were called now obviously revolution um especially this product and the brow pomade they just gave yeah gave me gave my brows i suppose a new lease of life and gave me the confidence to then face the world i suppose that's what we're all wanting to achieve but i must admit um so i will just now give you my thoughts on the Revolution Pro eyebrow cushion. Yeah, I must admit that this is a very nice product. The brow pomade is definitely thicker. Um, it's more like a cream, whereas this is much more thinner in consistency. And if you want more natural brows, um, I suppose this will work really, really well. If you don't need that perhaps coverage, this will definitely work for you if you want something that's you know light um, then again 
this will work for you. I think it's a really good concept, really good idea. And I just love the fact that this brand gives us so many options. I mean, I, I use three, uh, three of them because I just love to, you know, create this type of a brow. This is what works for me. But yeah, I really love the, the uh, brow cushion and I don't know if it's going to replace my brow pomade as yet, but it's certainly a product that worked for me. It certainly worked today. I love how my brows look and I think it's definitely much more subtle and it's very easy to use as well. I mean, the brow pomade is easy to use as well, but this is very, very, I think, beginner friendly. It did glide onto the eye or the brow um, and yeah, really, really like it. So definitely um, a worth worth a look if you're looking for a new brow product. Perhaps if you don't like a brow pomade, you might want to try this. Um, I love all of these products, but especially this. I've been looking for a thin pencil for so long because, you know, I want to mimic those brow hairs and this does work for me. So I absolutely love it. And of course, I love this to give me the actual outline anyway. This is a given because I've been using it now for so long, years now. Um, yeah, so any questions or I'm happy to answer. Like I say, if I haven't covered anything, I'm happy to mention that down below. I just want to mention what I'm wearing on my eyes and lip before I go quickly. I'm wearing on the eyes the Eye Heart Revolution Dragon's Heart Eyeshadow Palette. I did a tutorial with this one and I believe it's the Mermaid. I keep calling it the Unicorn Eyeshadow Palette, but it's the Mermaid, I believe, from yesterday. I'll link those both down below for you as well. Really love the purple on my lid, absolutely love that. And the lip product, you probably guessed it, it's the Revolution Pro, Pro Supreme uh, Matte Lip Pigment and today's shade is Illusion. Absolutely love these so, so much. So I'd love your thoughts on any of the products. Are you using these? Have you used the brow cushion? What are you thinking to it? Love your feedback on that. Any answers about brows, let me know down below. And of course, if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to watch further videos. But until tomorrow, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.